it's National Zookeeper Week. We go behind the scenes at Reed Park Zoo for a little day in the life of our local wildlife ambassadors. Kagon 9 and the CW Tucson got a very special tour. Hi, my name is Sarah and I'm one of the Andy and Bear Zookeepers here at Reed Park Zoo. Hello, my name is Josh. I'm a zookeeper here at Reed Park Zoo and I'm a carnivore keeper. And so I work with a lot of our carnivores here at the zoo, but that also includes our brown bears, Ronan and Finley. Reed Park Zoo was able to step in and provide a home for both Ronan and Finley. And as a result, we offer a platform of environmental education, teaching people about how to be bear aware. Because here even in Tucson, or Pima County, we also live in bear country. At Reed Park Zoo, we have two Andean bears, Oha and War. Finding the Andean bears can sometimes be a little difficult when you're looking in the habitat. Oha, our young female, is a very good climber, so sometimes you can look in that mulberry tree on habitat and she'll be hiding up there. You can see a little splotch of black fur. Um, that's usually Oha. And then Worf, our older bear, he's usually hanging out in the shade. There's a nice little cement patch back by the night house that he'll be laying at. So if you can't see him, sometimes you can see his feet popping out from that doorway. So this is our male bear, Ronan. Uh, we have two brown bears here at Reed Park Zoo, both Ronan and Finley, and they both love uh, eating different kinds of meat items. So they get different fish rotated through, they get oxtails rotated throughout their diet, as well as knuckle bones. So Ronan right now is eating the marrow out of a knuckle bone. And this is actually his favorite location to eat his knuckle bones. He loves sitting in the water and then balancing the bones on his hind feet. That way he can use his, his arms and his, his paws to help um, get the meat items out of the bone. Andean bears are really big seed dispersers in their environment in the Andes Mountains in South America. So we try to offer them the same kind of foods that they would be getting in their environment. Grizzly bears or brown bears are what we would designate as a very resource driven animal. They're very smart, they're very intelligent and powerful. And so with these guys, they need more complicated enrichment. So this is a puzzle feeder. We've cached some peanuts inside of it and we're asking our bears um, to use some of their natural behaviors to help bring those peanuts out of that puzzle feeder. Uh, it's to help elicit natural behaviors. My favorite part of working with the Andean bears is how they challenge me to be a better keeper. Um, they're constantly in need of new enrichment ideas to encourage natural behaviors like climbing and foraging and nesting. So being able to collaborate with and learn from my fellow keepers on how to better enrich them and create more opportunities for them to show those natural behaviors is really the best part of my job. My favorite part of being a zookeeper is the fact that my day is ever changing. Every day is a different day. Zookeepers, we wear a lot of different hats or we have lots of different roles. A lot of us, we're animal behavior specialists, we're animal trainers. We do a lot of cleaning, so 70% of the job is probably cleaning and maintaining our animals' bedrooms and our habitat spaces. But there's a lot more than just cleaning. A lot of us, we do, we assist with vet work, we do diet prep. It's just constantly changing every single day. Just by coming to our zoo, it, you're making a difference. Um, you, you make a difference for our animals' lives, but also out in the field as well. We support so many different conservation projects and programs, and just from you coming and seeing our grizzly bear, or our brown bears, or even like our Andean bears, you're funding research out in the field as well, and so you are making an impact. While the job may get their paws dirty, our zookeepers work hard to protect our furry friends, make sure to celebrate them and our animals staying safe, happy, and healthy. Thank you, Reed Park Zoo.